Hi, I'm Bob. This is an introductory microeconomics video. I use a textbook written by Jeffrey Perloff. Microeconomics, theory, and applications with calculus, the fourth edition. Scarcity is the mother of economics. Microeconomics is the study of how individuals and firms make decisions to maximize their utility or profits in a world of scarcity. It's the study of the allocation of scarce resources. That's why in microeconomics, we often say consumers maximize their utility subject to a budget constraint. Firms maximize their profits subject to limited resources and technological constraint. Because of the scarce resources, people face trade-offs. A society produces one more good. It must produce fewer of other goods because of a limited amount of resources available. Microeconomics is often called price theory to emphasize the important role that prices play in determining market outcomes. Prices link the decisions about which goods and services to produce, how to produce them and who gets them. On the one hand, prices influence the decisions of individual consumers and firms. On the other hand, the interactions of these decisions by consumers, firms and government determine price. The Twinkie tax example in the textbook shows that when the tax was imposed on the unhealthy food, firms will produce less to lower their tax burden and consumers will purchase less and switch to other untaxed products. The interactions between consumers and firms take place in the market. Market is an exchange mechanism that allows buyers to trade with sellers. Economists use models to make testable predictions. We can use models to explain the relationship between two or more variables. We can also use model to predict how a change in one variable will affect another variable. Models can be presented verbally, graphically, or mathematically. Economists make many assumptions to simplify their models. Economic theory is a model of predictions about cause and effect such as if the price increases, the quantity demanded falls. A model is not useful if it could not lead to testable predictions. Next, let's take a look at some questions. Microeconomics studies the allocation of scarce resources. Microeconomics is often called price theory. Most economic models assume that decision makers wish to make themselves as well off as possible. Society faces trade offs because of scarcity. A market always involves the personal exchange of goods for money. No, sometimes it does not involve money. It allows interactions between consumers and firms. Yes. It always takes place at a physical location. No. It can take place on the internet. It has no influence on price. No. No. The Interactions between firms and consumers can influence price sometimes.
What links the decisions of consumers and firms in the market? Prices. What is responsible for the allocation of scarce resources into the production of most goods in the U.S.? Market and prices. Explain how a market helps determine which goods and services will be produced, how to produce them, and who gets them. A market promotes interaction between consumers and firms. This interaction will result in prices that influence the decisions of consumers and firms. The purpose of making assumptions in economic model building is to simplify the model while keeping important details. Which of the following is an example of a normative statement? Normative statements are a conclusion as to whether something is good or bad. It's a value judgment. While positive statements are testable predictions about the causal relationship between cause and effect. In the textbook, the statement price controls lead to food shortages is a positive statement. It's a testable prediction. The statement the government should use price control to protect people against price gouging is a normative statement. It cannot be tested. In this question, only the option C is the value judgment, and it's a normative statement. In this question, option C is the positive statement because it is a testable prediction, while the other two are value judgments. If fines for speeding when driving increase, fewer accidents will occur. It's an example of a positive statement. It can be tested. A theory stating that individuals make purchasing decisions based on the tastes which change randomly at random intervals is not useful because it's not possible to test the predictions of the model. Governments should impose stricter regulations on oil draining is an example of a normative statement. It's a value judgment. In the supply demand models to analyze the wheat market, we assume that wheat sold by different sellers is largely the same. We make this assumption to simplify the model while keeping important details. Consumers choose their cell phone plans according to their needs and package features. This is an example of maximizing the utility subject to a constraint. Which of the following statements is a normative statement? Only the last one is the normative statement. Microeconomic models are used to make predictions, explain real-life phenomena, evaluate policy alternatives. All are correct.
a microeconomic model cannot be used to evaluate the fairness of the proposal to nationalize health insurance because it's about value judgment. Thank you very much for watching this video of Chapter 1.